You may be wondering, what exactly is media psychology? When you put the two together, what does that really mean? And I know most of you out there are familiar with media. Media could be the mass media, what you see on television. You might think of news stations. It could be the devices that we use to absorb media, whether that is a tablet, an iPhone, your computer. Media could be something that you see in a newspaper. Newspapers are media, books are media, and then psychology. And when, and when you put that together, what is it that those two terms kind of um, represent? And it, psychology allows us to understand not only new media, things like Facebook and Twitter, but old media and how these things are impacting our lives, how we are, how we are interacting with the media and what does that mean from a psychological standpoint, our interaction with that media, how is it going to impact our behaviors? How is it going to impact learning, especially for children? How does it impact how we process information? And that's really what we're trying to study here. So we're trying to take that aspect of media, kind of marry it a little bit with technology, and then come to some understandings going forward through history of how this is going to um, play out. And really, we don't know those answers. So I, I just encourage you, come along. This is, this is, this is leading edge technology. And come find out and help us to, you know, sort of pioneer this new area, this new field called media psychology. We'd love to have you.